Good morning. What is going on? People, what a beautiful morning. Absolutely beautiful. So before we get into this new pistol, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the little notification button so you can see what's happening here. But today, we are going to be going over the Palmetto State Dagger Compact. This thing looks tough. It looks nice and clean. It's in that budget pistol line. It's a, a nice little, actually a decent feeling budget pistol. It's, you know, it's a Glock clone kind of thing. Uh, but before we talk too much about it, let's go out to the range and shoot this bad boy. Let's head out there. I'm itching to shoot. It's early in the morning. Let's get out there before anybody else and, and run some steel. All right, guys, so we're at the range. I'm gonna hold this, come over to the bank here because that easterly sun coming up is, it's killing me. Uh, the Palmetto State Armory Dagger. Um, the Glock clone. It comes with a 15 round, one 15 round mag. So let's let's see how she runs here. Now my son has shot this gun. I haven't shot it. So I just want to see how it feels and whatnot and give you guys a good review on it. Of my opinion, of course. So let's see here. Just a hair high on that one. Oh, misfire. Misfire. It did hit the primer. Oh, it didn't eject that round. Okay. Hi. 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 All right, well. It didn't eject one round, um, but those are those are my reloads, so that might have been a weak reload. Um, this gun will also accept Glock 17 mag, so this is a 17 round Glock 17 mag. I have no idea how many rounds I have in it, uh, but it will take the 17 mags. It does protrude some, so let's try this mag here. It looks like it went down. Got a stove pipe, a little bit, last round, but I'm pretty confident it's just my reloads. Um, for some reason, uh, I'm, I'm holding the holding the sight, putting the pumpkin on top of the fence, so I'm missing a lot high. I don't know why I'm doing that. It might be because it's only eight degrees out here. Just kidding, I just suck at shooting. That's the reason why. Let's load it up with some uh, too low ammo and see how it does. All right, so I got a 14 rounds in the in the mag of the too low ammo. That spring is pretty strong. And I forgot my speed loader. So let's see how the too low runs in this mat pistol here. A little to the left. Okay. Stove piped her again. So let's try it again here. That's it, unless that round didn't go off. So I was probably holding down the, the slide release. And you saw a little flinch. I do have a little flinch. Um, boy, those two lows hit a lot harder than my reloads. Let's try, so it's stove piped with both, the reloads and the two low. Let's try another bat batch of my reloads and see how it does. All right guys, so we got a, I think I got 13 rounds into the mag this time. My fingers are freezing. I'm gonna try shooting with gloves on too. Um, I don't like shooting with gloves on and if I do shoot with them on, I use batter's gloves. Um, so 13 rounds of my reloaded stuff. We're gonna give that a shot and see how it does. Okay. 
So we definitely are having, come on. We're definitely having some issues here with this pistol. Make sure the mag's all the way in. All right, so I made sure to keep my thumb up a little bit higher on that one, so it did it did lock back. Boy, man, I tell you that uh, that mag release is pretty stiff. All in all, except for the functioning issues, I like this gun. It feels great. The trigger feels really good. Um, I'm being a lot of self conscious to make sure I'm pulling through the trigger. A lot of you guys, when you watch my videos, you know I shoot low and and left on this. It's actually, um, I believe it's impacting right where I'm aiming. I'm going to run some more mags through. Let me, I'm going to put some gloves on. Um, and I'm going to run some more mags through this and see if it loosens up that, that front spring. I'm going to run a bunch of that Tulo. I brought 100 rounds of Tulo with me. I mean, it's that Tulo is hard hitting stuff. It's, it's got way more powder than my reloads do. My crappy reloads, as some of the comments say. Um, but I'm gonna run that and see if we can loosen up that spring some. I think I think my boy has got about a hundred-ish rounds through this gun. And I don't remember I don't remember if he said he had feeding issues or reliability issues. So uh let me let me do that off camera. You don't need to see my crappy shooting on that, and and we'll get back to you. All right, we're gonna give you guys try to give you a little uh head mount action here. Um so I just ran 35 rounds of Tulo. I thought I brought 100 rounds with me, I only brought 50. It ran the 35 just fine. I ran another 10 rounds of my reloads and it's stovepipe one. So these reloads are just a hair light for, for the spring. Um, it should break up, uh, you know, break in with some time. Uh, but that gives us two firearms in the last, I don't know, eight months that we've been reviewing firearms that it did not run my reloads which is fine it's my reloads aren't loaded for for all the guns it's only loaded for one gun um so yeah it's crap ammo let's see if we can we're about 30 yards here let's see if we can hit some steel from 30 here just to the left oh that one went high I'm working on that reset, see, seeing how far it does. That it's, it's definitely not a short reset, but it's not a bad reset either. So it ran all 10 of those just fine. Um, I'm gonna load up another 10 and just keep going. I also brought, I brought my 320X compact to, to do some shooting out here this morning. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna have to sit in the truck and, and warm up, but uh yeah let's see what we can if we can loosen this spring up a little bit more all right so we got 10 more rounds loaded in let's get out of that blazing sun and get a little closer and see if i can hit all 10. ah oh, missed to the left ah oh, left again All right, so it ran all 10. So when I'm missing, I'm missing just straight left, which is standard for me in pistols. So let's load up another 10. All right, so it's ran 20 rounds of the reload just fine. Um, maybe that spring is, is breaking up a little bit, loosening up for us. So, man, I got such bad glare on my, my glasses from this sun. It's hard for me to even see. All right, honestly, on that on that round, the bullet, trigger, everything, if I was aiming center, I was hitting perfect. So <clears throat> I'm liking that trigger, but I'm also being more self-conscious to make sure I pull through it straight. 
instead of my standard kind of pull. Um, all in all, guys, that little pistol's a blast to shoot. That is fun. It does not feel like a Glock. We'll review that on, on the bench. Uh, I'm liking the feel. I'm liking the trigger. It's fun. I'm going to keep shooting it. Um, I'm also going to shoot that SIG I brought with me. I might do one more chest one because I don't know how, how the footage is going to look off the head. So let me do that. Let me get one more round of the chest can't footage. And then we'll go back and talk about this bad boy on the bench. All right, guys. I lied. I wanted to show you a quick deal on my reloads because every dang video I get, I get a Karen making her comment about shitty ammo. So this is a SIG 320. This ammo is loaded for a SIG 320 full size. I run it in there in competitions, everything just fine. So I've got 30 rounds in it. This is a 320X compact, okay? Let's see. And I'm not worried about accuracy. Uh, I just want to run 30 rounds through it real quick. Not a problem. Not a problem. So, for all you trolls that say it's shit ammo, it's not shit ammo. It's not loaded for 16 pound springs, okay? These SIGs have 14 pounders usually um the manufacturer says they're 16 but every time i've ever checked them they're about 14 pounds okay so i just wanted to throw that in there the sig runs it just fine most of smith and wesson's run them just fine i found one smith and wesson that will not run them um uh, glock 17 runs them just fine this palmetto state armory doesn't it stove piped them but the 320x compact ran it ran it just fine so <clears throat> leave your comments about shitty ammo to yourself all right guys back from the range so before we we dig into the to the range session um please hit that subscribe button guys this is a fully funded channel out of my pocket which is just fine but uh you know maybe one day we can get this up to some subscribe you know high number subscribers where uh youtube will start throwing some advertising money and we can roll that into more ammo and guns and giveaways and things like that. So I do have a I do have a uh, Taurus to give away if we ever get the 500 subscribers. So um, that and this channel. First off, the channel was made so my oldest daughter that doesn't live with me with us anymore can see what's happening. Well, it's kind of evolved into trying to help the average Joe. I'm an average Joe. I don't have a ton of money by any means. So reviewing these these budget pistols and fishing gear and camping gear and things like that is to help the guy that it might take him a whole year to save up 300 bucks to buy a pistol and he's decided he's going to spend that 300 bucks so this channel it's it, a lot of unedited um i want you guys to see what i see when i'm at the range or fishing or whatever the experiences i have with these firearms um so it's just a plain jane average joe channel that i just want to relay as much of information that I feel and see on these these firearms to you to help you make the best decision to spend your money okay so please hit that subscribe button guys and I do have patreon nobody's on it um, and I don't push it very hard just because I don't you know want to ask people for money or nothing but if somebody feels like donating a dollar a month or whatever we'll roll that right into stuff for the channel so back to the pistol uh, as you guys seen on the footage, we did have some some issues with with factory ammo, the too low stuff, and the reloads. But just get everybody understand those reloads are not made for every gun. I reloaded those for specifically for one gun. It runs them fine. And as you seen at the the last video there, the SIGs run that that reloaded stuff just fine. There's no issues with it. I've shot. God, 50,000 rounds, 100,000 rounds of those reloads through those SIGs. And I got to move a heater. Holy smokes, my legs are on fire. Um, through my competition SIG, a 320 full size, 
I I can't shoot those reloads in registered competitions, but in my in the league matches that I used to shoot and things like that, there was no uh, minimum power coefficient, so I could shoot whatever I wanted. So just understand that those reloads that I shoot are not meant for every brand spanking new pistol out on the market. Um, this pistol did shoot the last three mags of the two load just fine. Didn't have any issues with it. And honestly, this gun was a lot of fun to shoot. This thing was a blast. Um, let's get into the gun. But I also, I want to grab another gun to compare the two, okay? So give me one second. All right, sorry about that. Like I said, everything's unscripted here. Uh, I should have already had this pistol ready to go. But back to this pistol. It was a blast to shoot. It was a lot of fun to shoot. It's clear. Everybody sees that. It's dirty. Real good. Probably got about 150-ish rounds through it today. It feels really good in my hand. Um, the release button is definitely a, a stronger release button compared to a lot of the ones that we've tried on this channel. But this is pretty much still a brand new gun. It's got about 300 rounds through it. Um, I dig the sights. You know, I keep telling you guys I'm a black blade front red dot sight guy, but these sights are nice and big. You can really see them really good. So I was, I was enjoying shooting this gun. Everybody knows I'm not a good pistol shot by any means. And I was having a blast. Gosh, it was a lot of fun. Um, like we said at the range, it came with one 15 round mag. And this is a mag pull mag. It's not a Glock mag, but Glock mags will work. This is a 17 round uh, um, Glock 17 mag. Both of these are mag pulls and it loads in just fine. The only thing I don't like about the mag pull mags is it only tells it gives you a load indicator when you hit the 17 or the 15 when it's fully loaded. You know, the Glock mags have all the dots in the back that shows you, hey, I got 10 rounds and whatnot. So that's those. But yeah, this was fun. It was great. Um, let's check that trigger. I know a lot of you dig the trigger. One guy doesn't. I don't really care. But I want to show you the trigger on this. It it feels like it breaks pretty clean. There is some there is some creep in there. The resets quite a bit. There's the reset. So it does have a a pretty lengthy reset on it, which is okay. I mean, these are this is a budget pistol, guys. It's 329 to 349 dollars on Paul Meadow State Armory. Not bad at all. And it's a it was a blast for me to shoot. Is this guy gonna work? This guy is very, 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 very cold. Try to get it down on the bottom of the trigger blade there. A lot of creep. Five twelve. Let's do it one more time. <clears throat> and the more I shot it, the more I get comfortable with it. You know, I get way more comfortable and more accurate. Three thirteen. That ain't bad. Ain't bad at all. Uh, I get way more comfortable with firearms the more I shoot them. Obviously, if I had the resources, I could shoot a thousand rounds through this gun. I'd feel super comfortable with it. Have the trigger down good. I was trying to use more of my, the tip of my finger on that trigger. Uh, just because I know I catch myself wrapping my finger and I'm pulling it low left. Um, I, was, I was getting way more accurate the more I shot it. And gosh, I can't tell you how much fun it was to shoot, but I wanted to compare this gun with a Glock 17. So this Glock 17, I've had this one forever. I'm not a huge Glock fan, guys. You all know that. Um, I just don't like the way the handle feels. It feels really blocky. I mean, it's just a, if you look, it's just a square with some rounded edges. This one's way more rounded. This gun here, oh, let's make sure everybody knows we're clear, okay? Um, this is way more comfortable feeling than this this Glock 17. And this was the, this this started my, competition shooting that's why it's got an apex trigger in it these triggers are dynamite um but this is what started me in production class was his glock 17 i found this gun the guy had five mags for it and a holster 
So this got this is the gun I shot for two-ish years in competition, and I mean this was the only gun I was shooting, uh, just because I'm not that good a pistol shot. I can't switch between triggers and and be successful. I got to shoot the same firearm, same trigger, for thousands and thousands and thousands of rounds. So I just wanted to compare the two. So as you can see, I hope you can see it real well. The Palmetto Third Armory, way, way more rounded. The Glocks are pretty straight on the back. This guy's more humped here. And it does have the little finger indention for your, for your uh, ring finger there. A little bit smaller, of course, you know, because this is a compact. It's still pretty big to be a compact gun. Still pretty big, but that's okay. That's okay. You know, I'm, I'm a full-size guy. I like I like to shoot and carry full-size pistols. Right now, I'm shooting a, or carrying a Hellcat, but you know, I don't know how well you can pick that up. But if you could see down here, you can definitely see. You know, the Glock is straight, but the the Palmetto State Armory does have that more the bump on there and I'm telling you that just makes a world of difference to me it just feels it feels better than the Glock I mean this is a Glock clone but if I had to choose between the two even though this gun is super duper reliable um, it actually fires my reloads just fine as well I would have to pick the Palmetto State Armory just because of the way it feels in my hand you know uh, this trigger here these apex triggers are phenomenal I love these but back to the back to the uh, Palmetto State Armory so you can find them at Palmetto State Armory 329 349 they do have an optics ready version that is 399 I believe these are hard to find these are super duper hard to find on Palmetto State Armory they are such a hot little pistol that guys want a ton of them so uh, just just some quick specs on it overall length is 7.15 inches overall width 1.28 inches overall height without the mag is 4.78 inches the barrel length 3.9 so that's going to give you some more accuracy down range um, barrel material stainless steel the slide is Cerakote finish so it's going to take a beating it's it's a it's it's a killer little pistol. I like this. Um, you know, you saw saw the uh, white dot sights, and that's about all the information I can give you on this pistol. I had a ton of fun uh, shooting it, and with full powered ammo, I don't think you'll have any issues. It does have one little Picatinny rail right there. You can put your weapons light on there. It's it's a blast to shoot. It was a lot of fun to shoot out of all the little budget pistols we've we've reviewed uh, besides the stoger that stoger was a blast to shoot but this is it way way more fun to shoot for me than any of the tauruses we've checked out um, if, if i had 349 dollars to spend it would be on this pistol here uh, you know everybody's different you know you caught me on the video i was holding i got a bad 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 problem putting my thumb right here when I'm shooting bad bad problem um, holding down the slide release but if I had 349 to spend it would be this pistol now remember you're 349 plus shipping and handling plus your CBI check so you're probably going to be closer to 400 bucks on this pistol in fact you are going to be closer to 400 bucks if you get it at 349 but still that's that's 400 dollars well spent so guys, please hit that subscribe button. Put your comments in the comment section. I'm, I'm, I'm preparing myself for hearing some of the, the wicked nasty comments. But remember, this channel is an unedited channel to give you guys the what I find value in a gun. Um, most guys, when they pick up a firearm, th there's three things when guys pick up a firearm at the store. What's the first thing? They're always, oh yeah. Man, that feels good in my hand. What's the next thing? They always look down the sights. So I try to give you 
a picture of the sights, and the third thing always is the trigger. Oh man, yeah, that's a sweet trigger. Oh yeah, oh. So that's that's the three things that we reflect a lot on this channel. There's 20 things you can do to this gun. Change the trigger, change the sights. You can you can start fluting stuff. You can take it to the your machinist and have them cut channels. You know, you can dimple up the the handguard. But right out of the box, I want to give you guys the most information I personally can for that I feel is important to you spending that money so guys hit that subscribe button enjoy the rest of your Sunday there's two big playoff games coming before the Super Bowl have some family dinner and enjoy yourselves guys get out to the range get some kids out fishing you know get that next generation going so you guys have a great weekend and we'll see you next week